ho ho, friends, and welcome to Let's Play the Grinch Saw Game. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo. This is another one of those Inca Games games in which it's December, so we're playing a bunch of Christmassy type related ones, you know. Dressed like Santa Claus. I'm wearing gloves now. The gloves are new. It's cold. My hands are cold. <laughs> so we're playing the Grinch Saw game. I was going to play Narnia Saw game, but we're going to actually play Grinch Saw game first. Because I don't know if Narnia is actually related to Christmas or not. It's just kind of snowy. And if we have time, we'll get to it in December. But we're going to play Grinch Saw game first. The evil pi uh, puppet pig saw has kidnapped Cindy Lou to force the Grinch to play his twisted game. Help him rescue her before it's too late. Let's play. Like I said, it's one of those Inca Games games, so it's a point and click, much like the stuff we've done before on the channel as well. What is this thing even? What? Oh, is it like a coat rack? Hey, Grinch! Oh, it looks like Jigsaw and I are wearing this. Or Pigsaw, not Jigsaw. Pigsaw and I are wearing kind of a similar getup here. Uh, Santa Claus, I didn't know. Uh, who are you, and how dare you interrupt my nap? You see, I'm Pixar. To some, I'm just an evil doll. Or just a psychopath. What no one seems to understand is that I just give options, choices, opportunities to change. I don't understand. For many years, you've been living and hating Christmas. Last year, you almost stole all the presents and ruined everything for everyone. <laughs> of course, I remember it. It was a lot of fun. What's that got to do with anything? Well, I'm here on Christmas Eve to force you to play a little game and that way to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. No one lectures the Grinch. What closely? <laughs> oh no, Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou! Why does the Grinch even care? <laughs> Precisely, Cindy Lou. The sweet little girl, her, girl who turned you into your best... What the heck am I talking about? The only one who saw kindness in you and took a chance to... So the who would give you another... What the... The only who trusted you. Do you want to see her again? Set her free immediately. I'll take that as a yes. Listen to the rules carefully. Some place in this adventure is Cindy Lou waiting to be rescued. But be careful. In your quest, you'll find many dangers and riddles that will give you more than one headache. <laughs> Win or lose, make your choice. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no further words about that. The grin. Oh, he looks... The Grinch looks quite grumpy about this entire situation. Does not like the look of it. So let's... <laughs> Max, is that what Max... I guess that was his name. I don't remember the dog's name, but it was Max. I guess it was. I guess it would have had to been. Oh, a battery. Let's take a battery. We're good at battery and we've got Max. I like how Max still has the antlers on his head. So I guess la like in the story, it was last year that the Grinch tried to steal Christmas. So like, why is Max still walking around with antlers on his head? Okay, this is the way out. There's a fire extinguisher. Oh no, it's not a fire extinguisher. It's helium gas. I was wrong. I was wrong about that. It's wrong. It I was a stone. Okay, and we've got some kind of pipe. Can we go into the pipe? Oh, we can go into the pipe. Well, hello there, John Andre Coavoy Kaxire. I don't know how to say his name. I'm gonna go back into the pipe because I don't know what this way was. Oh, oh, oh! What are you? A model of the Grinch? I don't think it's a model of the Grinch. And we just put that where in our pocket? In our butt? It's in our butt now. Can we take the uh, telescope and whatever this leg is? A telescope. It looks like the telescope has a leg. Is it just me? Who's this guy? Oh, is that the mayor of Whoville or something? There's a bed. Oh, we'll just put the bed in our pocket as well. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff now. A bed, okay. Okay. So it looks like that's everything from this room. From this room. From this... Uh, What's, what's the word for what's the word for room in Spanish? I want to say it's like sala. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, all right, let's talk to let's talk to John. John, let's talk to John. Hi. Hi, Grinch. And who are you? I'm John Andre Covoy Coxere from Peru. 
I, I, I remember the Christmas. I stole all the gifts from the families of Peru. Fond memories I will never forget. <laughs> and how come you're in this adventure? I was one of the winners of the contest Imitating Town. Hey, you must be very good at imitating. Congratulations. They say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, you know. Thanks. Well, that didn't really tell us much of anything. Do you prefer the Grinch or Santa Claus? I don't know what kind of question that is, but... Are you sure you want to know? It's Santa Claus. It's definitely Santa Claus. I said so. Well, I don't know why he's so sad looking. He looks like he's really sad. And there's nothing I seem to be able to do about that. So let's just go down for now. Oh, who are you? Who's this guy? I can't tell. <laughs> I love the cat. He's just a little puffball. He could scratch me. I don't care. Let's talk to this guy. Let's see what the problem is. Hello, friend. Hey, Grinch. Hey, 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 Grinch. Why the long face? I had to go to a pet beauty contest. Okay. But the pet hairdresser was closed today, so I could not give an original hairstyle to my cat. And without an original hairstyle, I'll never win the contest. I understand. Alright, so we need- oh, saving game. Oh goody, oh goody. So I think we need something. We need an item that will allow, allow us to dress up the cat's hairstyle in some way. There's a plank of wood over here. We might need a blow dryer or a comb or a brush or something. Oh, what do we get? A pin as well. A 2 by 4 and a pin. Can we put a pin in something? I don't know. Let's go forward some- oh, we are into the Whoville now, I think. Which, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, it looks vaguely blurry, it looks kind of bizarre, but that's okay. What is this, some flowers? Can I pick them? Oh, I can pick them. A bouquet of flowers, don't mind if I do. A who with a very small car. Okay. Hey! You kind of look like the Whoville mayor guy. Uh, hey. And why are you so sad, hmm? It's just that long ago I bought a Darth Vader mask on eBay. So? What's wrong? The post office is on a strike for months, therefore I have not yet received my package. Oh, now I understand. Uh, was there something else I could say? Can I, can I borrow your car? I think we need to get the Darth Vader mask to make that happen. Sorry, I'm not in the mood. Alright, yeah, we need to go get this guy a Darth Vader mask so we can get his car. I don't know why we want the car yet. But we want the car. We definitely want the car. Is there an item? What is this? Nothing? I don't see any items in the houses. But I feel like those houses have to be important for some reason, right? Oh, who are you? Martha May. I don't know who any of these people are. Can we talk to Martha May? She looks a little peeved. A little upset. Hi, hello, Martha. You had the nerve to say hello after missing our date yesterday. I waited an hour and you never showed. A date? Yesterday? Did, did, did we have a date? You forgot it! And if you forgot it, that means I am not important to you. Keep walking! I don't th I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye! But, but Annie, I don't know who this woman is. Is this from a movie that I didn't see? It could be. Alright, uh, so we, we forgot our date and she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Maybe a bouquet of flowers will cheer her up, yeah? Martha, I hope these flowers can soften your heart. Do you think that a simple bouquet of flowers can make me forgive you? It, yes, that, that is exactly what I thought. Indeed, that is what I thought. Oh, you thought right. <laughs> well, that was easy. I love flowers. That was super easy. Oh, ooh la la. I see you. I'll see you tomorrow to have dinner together. Don't forget this time. Ah, uh, she's at my feet! What does that even mean, Grinch? What does that even mean? A blue key! We have acquired a blue key. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> and who are you? A manager of the post office. Sure, let's talk to the manager of the post office. Why not? Hi! Uh, hi. What are you doing standing here? I am responsible for the post office of Villa Who, and since I am on a strike, I haven't gone to work. And now that there's no one at the post office, aren't you afraid someone might, uh, break in? 
I don't think so. The door is locked. Is it locked with a blue key? I criminal criminals don't need keys. You're right, but I can't go. I'm on a strike. Give me the key and I'll make sure everything's okay. You give the key to the post office to the Grinch who once stole all the presents? I don't think so. I'm not gonna do that. Anyone can make a mistake once. Well, all right, I got it. All right, well, I don't think we need him to give us the key because I think we have the key. Where's the post office? Is this the post office? That's all the time I have for this episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do all the things. But if you guys do, I hope to see you in the next episode of Magic Man Mo. Bye! <laughs>